bringing you another daily edition of the Southwest Florida Daily Tour of Homes and Foreclosures. Got a great tour of homes for you today. We're going to take a look at some new listings. Plus, we're going to take a look at uh, all the homes that are walking distance to the beach on both Fort Myers Beach and Sanibel Island under 500,000. There's about 16 homes today. I don't know whether or not I'll be able to get to all of them. However, I will post all 16 of them in PDF listing form, which is you know how you would see them on a listing with all the information. Uh, information about the homes as well as all the photos. Uh, I can't click through all the photos always on the tour here as it just takes too much time but I do post them all on the Facebook page under the home search button which is in the center of the page on the menu bar. Go take a look there now and best of yet you don't need to have a Facebook page to tour anything on our Facebook page just if the, you see the little bracket that comes up if you don't have a Facebook account and you see the little box that pops up uh, wanting you to sign up to Facebook just click around it or click click off of it and you'll still be able to view all our page. A lot of great things happened this weekend. We got a new home coming on the market for uh, Mike and Beth Wright. They bought that great home up in Boquilla that I featured and showed you last week. If you haven't seen that home, go look under the photos and photo albums area in the Facebook page and you can see Mike and Beth's great new home that they just bought up at Boquilla. They're putting in a new air handler up there and then we're getting ready to close that. But in the meantime, Mike and Beth are going to be putting their home up for sale, which is down in the River district in Fort Myers just south uh, you know on McGregor just south of the Ford Edison Estates just off of uh, the river about a block from the river so if you're looking for something that's close to everything in Fort Myers you want a really nice single story home that has a pool this could be a super buy for you and uh, the pricing is going to be right around the $300,000 mark we haven't quite uh, figured out exactly where we're going to put it but this is going to be a great home for you and I'll give everybody on here a first shot at it before we put it on the MLS tomorrow. So if you want a pocket listing and you want a Best Buy, you better give me a, a holler right away and I'll send you all that information out uh, for you on that one as well. Uh, plus, we did that feature last week. I have to apologize that we lost the video on that um, on the tour of the, all those homes under 300,000, the Golf Access homes, uh, as well as one of our clients' homes. But maybe I'll get around and I'll try to redo that one for you. But we're always posting those homes of the Golf Access homes under 300,000, as we know so many people are looking for them. That uh, probably a new one would probably be good in order anyway, as probably several of those homes that I showed you uh, are probably sold anyway as in that uh, category of homes that under 300,000 uh, goes uh, sells about as fast as they come on the market. Well, let's start with today's tour. Uh, this is a new listing going on the market tomorrow in Fort Myers. This is on Nightwing Circle. Uh, this is a home in the development of Blackhawk. It's a four plus three bath uh, den home. Got 3,100 square foot under air, about 5,500 square foot total. Now this is built by one of my favorite builders down here, Arthur Ruttenberg Custom Built Homes. It's located in a much desired after, uh, looked for Blackhawk community. This home does have a lot of square footage from it and the home site is over a half an acre so it has an oversized lanai with a heated pool and spa it's got a three car garage lots of room for toys and the adids and a big family it's got over a hundred acres of natural preserve and a community playground plus there's 80 homes that you would expect to pay much higher homeowners dues than the very low six hundred dollars a year for the homeowners association dues here in Blackhawk so this would be a great home it's going on the market tomorrow if you're looking for an estate home or a family type of retreat something that would rent real well that you're going to be proud to own uh, maybe if you're an attorney or a doctor or a professional you can come down and work some long weekends down here and a home like this would be super for you and your family and this one you can have at 565,000. Now this home here is also 
uh, over in Bay uh, Oyam Cape Coral. This is a three-bedroom, two-bath home over on Bayview Court. Uh, you know, this is really a nice home. It's in the popular lock club area of Cape Coral. It has western exposure or western rear exposure as we like to talk about it here. Since you live in your backyard here in southwest Florida enjoying your pool or waterfront, uh, our backyard is really our front yard. So we always, uh, and some people like to have their, their homes pointed particular directions. Either they, they really like the sun and they're sun worshipers and so they want it south or they want it east to get that Florida sunshine all afternoon. or Usually after you've been here a few a while, uh, they prefer to have it facing east or facing north. But regardless, this is a sailboat access canal. So in other words, no bridges. It's a quick three-minute ride out to the river. Now, this is a gorgeous home. It sits on an oversized lot with plenty of Florida sun plus a hot tub and a captain's walk, uh, uh, you know, lumber rock treated wood and a 10,000 pound lift out on the boat. So this one here has got everything everybody looks for as far as what I call the big rocks. And the big rocks being the three bedroom, two bath, two car garage, uh, the dock, the lift, the pool, all of those kinds of things that I know everybody wants. Uh, and a super nice canal on this one as well. Uh, as you see, very nice pool area along with the spillover sauna, uh, jacuzzi type area, and a beautiful Tex type dock with the wraparound. That's about a $25,000, $30,000 dock if a $30,000 dock if you were to have it added to your place and we have people that can add docks if you particularly need one in the home that you want to buy. This one here you can have for $554,900. Now, this next home I want to show you is on Hercules Drive. This is in Fort Myers Beach area. So if you want to be walking distance to the beach, you want to be under 500000 this would be one that you can do that. There aren't very many. I think there's only about you know, a handful, maybe three or four homes on Fort Myers Beach. Actually, there's only about less than 10 homes walking distance to the beach anywhere in southwest florida under 500,000, and i'm going to show them all to you today on fort myers beach and sanibel and we're going to start with this one here off of hercules drive what's cool about this one is it's four bedrooms and four baths 1200 square foot 1400 square foot total now this is kind of special because this isn't one single home this is actually two bright light and cheerful remodel houses on one lot so you can use both homes for the family you can rent one out while you stay in the other one or rent them both out or there's just a lot of opportunity here for you know a lot of variation in what you want to do uh, you have the best of both worlds here it's a great opportunity for rental income down on the beach you'd probably look into being in the forty to fifty thousand dollar a year in income range on this particular property uh, great location uh, right down there walking distance to the beach uh, with water in your backyard so this one here two homes for the price of one at four ninety nine now this is out on Sanibel and as you can see it's on a nice waterway it's a spacious ground level home in Laguna States at the end of a quiet cul-de-sac and it also has a beautiful bayou now this is only one of a handful of homes under 500,000 that you're going to be able to buy on Sanibel or Fort Myers Beach and be walking distance to the beach this one's got a nice floor plan at about 1900 square foot under air about 2600 square foot total it's got a breakfast bar in the kitchen as you see there tile floors large screen lanai a master bath with double sink and a really nice lot lot and best of all it's close to the beach and shopping and it has a brand new metal roof on it so when you get out at Sanibel the 450 500 price range is really about the starting point and this is a great example of that at 499,000 now I'm not showing you all the pictures of these homes so if you want to see more pictures of these go on the Facebook page under the photos under the photo and then albums on the Facebook page now this one here is another home under 500 out on Sanibel. This is a great two bedroom, two bath, and you're gonna fall in love with this one at first sight. I love being in this one. It's a two bedroom, two bath piling home. It accurately captures the old Florida charm throughout. It's bright, light, and airy. It's got a nice living and dining area that opens to a screened in lanai where you're gonna enjoy all the wildlife and wooded privacy of your own backyard. You're gonna watch the osprey, the eagles fly in, all the waterfowl that Sanibel is so famous for coming in and over your home as it goes to the preserves. You're real close to the kayaking and canoeing that Sanibel has to offer and of course all that great shelling or the beach activities on Southwest Florida's only true shell beach. Bet you didn't know 
know, but most of the beaches down here, or all of the beaches down here in Southwest Florida, are actually man-made except for the world-famous Sanibel. And you can have this one and be on your own, plus have the opportunity to finish in the bottom floor here and double your square footage on this home. Ask me how you can do that. Give me a call. I'll be more than happy to explain it. But this home could be yours at $499,000. As we got another one on Sanibel, three uh, plus den home, two bath, built in 83. Now this is a nice three bedroom plus den home that's been updated and remodeled. Both the kitchens and the baths were done by Kennedy Construction. The den has no closet, so it can be easily convert into a fourth bedroom. Excuse me, I said it didn't have no closet. It does have a closet, so you can easily call that den a fourth bedroom, which is great if you're gonna use it for seasonal rentals because of course you can increase your rental income that way. And as far as the location, here off a of peaceful drive on Sanibel. This one would be a great one. If you're wondering what community this is in, this is in Gumbo Limbo, and the price on this one is $474,900. Now, this home is on an extra wide lot. It's got privacy, it's got plenty of room for expansion, and you can add a pool. Now, we can have a pool put in this home for anywhere between twenty-five and, say, 35000 depending on what type of pool you want from wild to mild, and if you want the cage or you don't want the cage, or you want pavers or concrete deck, that sort of thing. But we can go all over all that with you with our contractors. But this gives you a little idea, under 500000 and you could be on the world-famous Sanibel yourself enjoying that great home as could you with this home. This is another three bedroom, two bath home built in 71 out on Sanibel in Sanibel Lake Estates. Now this is a quiet cul-de-sac home. It's got an updated kitchen and enclosed sunroof. This home is easy to maintain and it's central to everything on Sanibel. So this is a great opportunity to get on on the bottom floor on a home that doesn't need anything, but you could come in there and easily add your own colors or your own flair, uh, your own personality and call this home your own. And at 450000 it definitely has room uh, in there that you can put in your own pool and do a lot of additions and upgrades and still be in this one plenty fine to be used and make money on us um, in a seasonal rental program. Now we're going to head down to Fort Myers Beach area. I think that's everything on Sanibel under 500000 So I, there may be one more, but I think that was pretty much it. But take a look at this lovely home on San Carlos Drive in Fort Myers Beach. This is in Hidden Harbor. And it's a three-bedroom, two-bath home built in 64. But as you can tell, it's newly remodeled beach cottage through and through. This house is perfect for anyone looking to live the island lifestyle. It offers an immaculate kitchen with all top-of-the-line GE appliances, bamboo floors throughout travertine tiled bathrooms and a walk-in closet and two spacious decks out on the front and in the back of the house with a six foot white vinyl privacy fence which wraps around the lovely landscape lot a lot of nice things about this particular home and as you notice from the pictures this one's uh, definitely a wild one uh, it's it's done very nicely tastefully done uh, this one would rent very well and you could probably you know, figure about the forty to fifty thousand dollar range in in seasonal income on, on a home like this at four hundred and forty nine thousand. Now this home is also down on Fort Myers Beach. It's a seventy eight vintage off of Gulf View Plaza. This is down on Coconut Drive. It's a great updated family home in a mid island location. It does feature the tile and wood flooring. The kitchen has neutral Corian counters as you see there. White cabinets, newer stainless steel appliances. The baths are all tile, granite, and it has a spacious master suite sitting uh, in a nice area as you see right there. It does have a double enclosed garage, outdoor shower, and best of all, deeded beach access so you can just walk right down to the end of the road, have your own deeded beach access, and go for a, a walk in that white sugar sand first thing in the morning with your cup of coffee, 449000 for that great home on uh, Fort Myers Beach. Now, this is over in Town and River. Uh, this isn't particularly down in the Fort Myers Beach area, but it's off the Fort Myers Beach area, kind of out of the traffic flow. But it's a nice home. It's got big water views on one of the best spots on the lake in South Town and River. It's a sparkling lake views. It's got southern exposure, uh, expansive covered pool deck, and an 18 by 18 diagonal floor tiles throughout the living, dining, and family room. Now this home, as you can see by this kitchen, was very, very nicely done. Elegantly uh, remodeled, 
Uh, it was built in 78. Uh, the kitchen was put in just last year. The electrical was replaced. The roof was replaced in 2004. The pool pump and screens within the last year. Now, for those of you that don't know Town & River, Town & River is an exceptional, for the most part, waterfront community, canal waterfront community, right off the river uh, in South Fort Myers on the way to both Sanibel and Fort Myers Beach. It's kind of in that triangle area where you can go to either, but you don't have the crowds of the beaches and the traffic backups and all of that. School systems are superb through there. Very nice, safe, uh, super nice area and, you know, conveniently located to everything. This one here, 389000 is one of the better buys in today's tour. Now this one here is on Donora Boulevard. Now this is definitely down on Fort Myers Beach in Shell Mound Park. It's a three bedroom, three bath home, originally built in 81. Now this is outstanding uh, opportunity to be down on uh, the beach and have an island gym. It's a perfect location with deeded beach access in the sought after Shell Mound Park area. You're gonna step right out your back door to one of the largest preserves on the island and you're gonna bring your rod and reel because the bay is just steps away from your back door. Right there, as you can see, you can be fishing out your back door, you can be out boating, you can be taking that uh, paddle surfer or that uh, wind surfer right out your back door or your kayak or canoe as well. It's a great location, it's hard to beat. You got boat dockage is available at one of the many nearby marinas so if you're looking to get down on the beach at an entry level price and have a place that you're going to be able to keep as full as you ever wanted to in a seasonal rental kind of a situation this would be one that you definitely would want to consider and I don't expect this one to last probably a week or two on the market at the max 369.9 going on the market tomorrow now as we move down in price, this one's on Fort Myers Beach. This is a mid-island location. It's a three-bedroom, two-bath. It was built in 69, but if you're looking for affordable island living, you look no further. This is a mid-island home. It's located less than two blocks to the beach, so it's definitely walking business for the beach for just about everybody. It's got three bedrooms, two bath, concrete block home, and it features terrazzo floors and tile in the master bedroom and bathrooms. It's got a nice size yard and there's plenty of room to add a pool. This home has been very well maintained and it's built and solid to last forever. Um, perfect for a winter getaway perfect for a full-time residence there's plenty of possibilities for this home and the location is simply superb and you're getting it for the under 350 number at 348 which is almost unheard of it could use a little bit of landscaping it could use a little bit of outdoor TLC just to give it some curb appeal but then you're gonna build yourself in about fifty thousand dollars of equity I'm gonna leave that one up to you now this home here is in Fort Myers. It's down on Allen Way. And as you see, it's on the water. So welcome to paradise for this three bedroom, two bath home built in 71 on the water with 1600 square foot, about 2000, 2200 square foot, I believe, total and it's a one car garage house on a direct access canal now a lot of room here from the southern end of the Caloosahatchee River it's got an open concept living area in it with a brick fireplace uh, there's no neighbors on the left for additional privacy plus you're going to enjoy fishing from your dock or you're going to simply jump on your boat and you're going to be minutes out to the Gulf of Mexico now this home is all ready for you just to make it your own it could use a little help a little TLC you know little colors some personalization things like that but you're definitely at the below entry level price at 325,000 so here it is you're looking to be walking distance to the beach you want to have water in your backyard you can't get it for any cheaper than 325 and be this close to the Gulf now we're going to talk about that last one on Sanibel that I thought was still lurking in the background and here it is uh, 1960 it's a one bedroom one bath there's only two homes on Sanibel under 500 uh, that aren't three bedrooms there's three three bedrooms and and one two bedroom and this is the one bedroom adorable island cottage with weekly rentals keep in mind that not all homes down here on the beaches can be rented weekly a lot of them have a limit of monthly or 12 times a year this one is in a weekly rental area the rental income last year with the owners using it quite often and not in a real aggressive rental industry uh, rental program uh, they pulled in in the high twenty thousand dollars on this one and it's only a one bedroom so of course you're not going to get as much rent for that it's got a private beach access to the beautiful sandy shell strewn beach on Sanibel wonderful location it's just off the bag paths with restaurants shelling and fishing and paddle boarding literally right around the corner from this 
Northwest Golf Drive location and you get a little idea there of what it looks like right out the back door. Can you see yourself heading out there every day uh, while you're on vacation and being able to offer that to your rental clients as their backyard? Who wouldn't rent that from you? Well, folks, we got one more, and this is the last of the last. This is the least expensive home on Fort Myers Beach or Sanibel currently on the market, and it's on Fort Myers Beach. Now, this home here is a three-plus den home, two-bath, built in 59, about 1,200 square foot, 1,400 square foot total. And as you can see, it's been somewhat updated and somewhat remodeled, but it definitely could use some TLC and a little bit of customizing in it. But you know, at under 300,000 at 275, it's simply not a price range that is available or even really has been available for the last two years on either Sanibel or Fort Myers Beach. So if price point is really your big rock, this is definitely one you'd want to jump on at 275000 well, there you have it, folks. There's a great tour of 16 homes, actually all the 16 homes, under 500000 on both Sanibel and Fort Myers Beach, plus a handful of brand new listings going on the market tomorrow. If none of these homes sparked your interest or are the home of your dreams, please shoot us an email or better yet, give us a call at 239-872-7736. Tell us what you're looking for. We'll send you all the best buys, get you set up in Market Watch or Home Search, start working with you so you'll hit the ground running on your search to find your perfect piece of paradise down here in Southwest Florida. I'm Alan Smith, and on behalf of Carol, Cameron, and myself, we're wishing you a warm, sunny Southwest Florida day. Bye-bye now.